all right guys so uh i do have to thank before i started this video is chase charlin for this idea because he was like uh he was talking about mystery and maybe review video and he's like oh i love how you're passionate about this can you show some love to sort of the stranger and i was like hell yes i could show love to sort of the stranger that's like one of the anime movies that i super enjoy and i usually stay away from anime movies for the main fact that they're usually too short and i get attached to the characters in the world and i want to know more about it but sword the stranger and there's a few other ones that i really like i usually stay away from anime movies i love all the miyazaki movies i love a gen um i think that's what it was called with the anti-miyazaki thing where it was like the little baby demon thing but sword the stranger is one of the movies i watched and i was like that's all i needed to see that was perfect like that was the right length for what it, what it was and they do it so well so yeah i want to thank chase charlin for recommending it uh doing a video on it and let me make sure i got his name right i might have said it wrong and i do apologize chase um but thank you again for recommending it because that's a great idea and i do appreciate it first off one of the main things i want to point out about this movie before i forget because i start doing these things and i get on these tangents and i forget things but one thing that's very important in this movie, and I think it's a really great theme, and I just noticed it when I was rewatching it, because I've seen the movie like three times, but I just rewatched it because I rewatch everything before I do a review on it because I don't want to just be completely like running off memory. Um, but all of the characters in the movie are trying to escape from something, except for the main character. Well, even the main character to an extent. But something you learn is that him facing his pain and like issues that he's had in the past is what actually makes him strong compared to other characters in the show and the uh the main antagonist instead of he's actually interesting because he's the only character that wasn't running from something he's not trying to escape anything like pain or anything like that um which is why I think he's the main antagonist, but it's also a reason that the main character is the main character because he actually did endure those hardships and he did learn from it and he got stronger. And that's very important, I believe. I really think that's like a really good plot of the anime. And they show a lot of foils to characters that are put into similar situations as the main character and his past and issues he had. And they, they draw a lot of characters play a foil to him but he made a different decision you realize even characters that were placed in a, a situation that he had previously that he had like um they did the same thing kind of but he learned in a different way he handled the problem differently and that's what makes him the main character um, but this movie was is truly phenomenal and one thing i love about anime movies even though i usually stand, tend to stay away from them because of the length and because i don't want to get too invested in something and not be long enough or give me enough information um, the animation is always usually phenomenal like animation and anime movies is always like so much higher than just episodes there's few episodes in anime where you can be like that's some freaking dope animation but this is all like hand-drawn fluid beautiful animation throughout the whole anime even little things are almost all completely animated it's so well done and it's an action anime so that's one of the reasons why the story is like the perfect length because it's mainly action there's action throughout the whole anime and the final battle they do most almost every battle in this anime is like hyper realistic like they might be super skilled but almost everything is realistic even especially the final battle because characters that you think have some very they have a lot at stake in the final battle it's a battle that's all i'm gonna say about that with that i'm not spoiling anything because that's one thing i don't like to do in my anime reviews too much unless like i'll tell you beforehand if i'm gonna spoil anything but there are no spoilers that final battle is crazy <laughs> like it was one of the best fight scenes overall probably in anime history and it's so well done and um the story's really good it's got tropes of course um but it's really well done and Tabi Maru is like the best boy almost ever like Tabi Maru is that's, that's my dog literally <laughs> no. and uh gosh I can't remember the name's kid I'm the kid's name I'm so bad with Japanese names so I do apologize about that but he's a really likable character almost all the characters that are reoccurring 
that aren't um, nefarious or hyper likable. There's nobody that's super unlikable. They might be a little bit unlikable when you first meet them, but as you grow on and you learn more about them, it's really nice. And they don't waste any scenes. Almost every scene in this anime hints to something or shows something, shows like the growth between characters or it hints to something in the future. Like there are little things, like I noticed while rewatching this, that I did not notice like the first two times watching it. There's little things, and if you pay attention, you obviously catch it, but I'm one of those people, sometimes I'm not paying like full attention, but rewatching it to talk about it, I saw a lot of things that I missed out on. There's very little waste in this anime. And I know this anime has been out for a while. Actually, let me look up the time period because I don't want to like misinform anybody and be wrong because I hate being wrong, even though it happens quite frequently. It's been out for a while. 2009. Yeah, I remember watching this way back when I was like in college. But it is phenomenal. It is really one of the best anime movies I've seen. Um, and like I said, there's a bunch of tropes. You're not like... The story isn't something... It's very interesting. But it's not something that's going to be like, wow, blew my mind kind of thing. Uh, they do they execute it almost flawlessly. But there's nothing that's super outstanding. There's no like plot twist or anything like that. Um, nefarious reasons for ne doing nefarious things. And really the characters just kind of got caught up for it. Why did they get caught up in this situation? Doesn't matter. <laughs> it really doesn't. It, like it's a flip of a coin on like why this happened and why certain characters got caught up in this situation. Um, but the action scenes start from the beginning of the movie all the way to the end of the movie. And it's, it's really, re like I, I keep saying really realistic and words like that, but it is realistic, which is nice in anime. Um, and it's about the, like I said, the length is phenomenal because it's about like an hour and 48 minutes. And for an action anime, that's a lot of action to go on to. Um, there's no, there are some things that they kind of give you um, that are kind of just nice little additional pieces of information, but they're not super applicable, applicable to the story. Um, they'll tell you certain things about the characters. Like this is kind of a thing where they actually had some extra time and they just kind of fleshed out things to make the characters have like more interesting traits to them. Um, so that's a good thing. I mean, they actually like addressed more than I thought they should have, to be honest with you, because like almost all my questions that are, um, I had are in answered and a little bit of a synopsis is and sort of the stranger. Did I even say the name title the whole time. I don't know. <laughs> sort of the stranger is an anime where there, it's feudal Japan, of course, and there's um, Chinese immigrants that are doing nefarious things in Japan. And there's one boy that's trying to escape them. They need to capture him for a certain purpose. Random vagabond samurai ends up getting involved and then doing awesome things. Uh, and he has his own reasons for being a vagabond and having his struggles, which is part of the trope part I talked about. There's always a samurai that had like a really bad past who's awesome and like probably the strongest samurai, but he doesn't want to fight people anymore for whatever reason. That is our main character um, who never gets an actual name throughout the whole anime. Um, and... He like won't draw a sword. Kind of, it kind of has like a kinship feel, except for instead of a reverse blade, he's just not drawing a sword because of an oath he took. But when he does draw a sword, it's awesome. <laughs> it's so awesome, and he has like a dang throw in the towards the end of the of the uh, the movie. That is a Super Bowl worthy throw. It is freaking amazing. I was just like, oh my god. Uh. But that was probably one of the least like spectacular things he does. But one of the things he said is 
I feel more alive when I'm in pain. And that's a very important statement. I think it has to do with that pain aspect I was telling you about and like people running away from things. And pain is a big part of this anime because there's a lot of characters that have something to do with pain that makes, I think, weaker than other characters. And I don't want to spoil it, so I'm not going to say what that is, but you'll have to watch it to see. And then, I was going to say something else. I can't remember what it was. Well, regardless, I can't remember what I was going to say. It couldn't have been that important. I'll probably kick myself later if it was. But, yeah, if you haven't seen Story of the Stranger yet, uh, definitely check it out. It's one of my favorite anime movies of all time. Um, just because it's the perfect length. And, like, even Miyazaki movies, even though I enjoy most of them, I want those worlds to go on. Story of the Stranger, I... That was perfect for me. I wouldn't even want to see more of it, to be honest, except for the ending. There was something about the ending, and this is where I'm going to include spoilers. Spoilers. But before the spoilers, so in case you do close the video because of spoilers. Uh, if you like videos like these, please like and subscribe. And uh, thanks again for the recommendation. I do love talking about anime. I haven't done it recently because I'm kind of... Um, eh. Like, I love talking about it, but I don't know how many people actually like watching me talk about it, so I kind of try to avoid it too much, even though it's something that's like a little venting thing to me that I really like to do because I love talking about anime. But, spoilers. Something I want to ask. Do you guys believe that the main character... Ah. Man, I don't want to spoil. Do you want to know my question? Hit me up in the comments below and I'll ask the question you can answer me. Because if somebody reads down to the comments, they're spoiler, they're accepting all spoilers. If you go to the comments, you're accepting all spoilers. That's like our, <laughs> that's our uh, agreement, I guess. I can't remember what the word of it for it is, is when there's like, you're just agreeing by proxy. Yeah, if you go down to the comments, you're spoiling yourself. That's pretty much how it is. So if you want to know what my question is, hit me up in the comments and I'll let you know. But uh, yeah, thanks for watching as always, guys. And if you could, please like and subscribe. Bye. But that was a good movie. I love that a lot. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm.